Happy Monday, everybody. What's going on? Core Conversations. And we are doing a Freestyle Monday. And we're going to have uh, just a regular day. A chill day. I actually have nothing planned. So we'll see how this turns out. Just because I want to see what happens when we just open the doors and let people come on in. Hula Roots, what's going on? Nestus, what's up? Um... And that's just, if you want to join me on screen, I'd love to chat with you and hear how things are going, how your training is going, and all that. I forgot my coffee. So let me get off screen. Dad goals as always. Oh, the roots, where are you located? Mm-hmm. What's going on? Here, I can invite you on. Um, so, Ramir, before you take off, I am... Uh, so, Ramir, I'm running for city council in Mississauga. Therefore, I am not teaching my class. Uh, I usually teach a class in the city of Mississauga, city of Mississauga at the Celebration Square. We had like 400 people uh, there last time before COVID. So that's not happening anymore because I had to take a leave of absence. So I had to drop my classes. So um, you won't see me on the big stage this year, Ramir. But um, thanks for your support as always. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Uh, yes. So Hula Roots, where are you located and what do you do? Uh, love to hear in a chat. And Anestis, if you uh, want to join me, um, I'll send you an invite for you if you're free for a minute just to, to jump on. Good stuff. So you're voting for the provincial. I'm going to be running in the municipal election for city council in Ward 9. So that's what's up. Um, but yeah, definitely vote uh, provincial as well. I gotta do a couple housekeeping things here, and then Hula Roots, I'll get you on. Um, Hula, are you a are you a Plies instructor, or what do you do? Let me just do this whole house stuff here. Core conversations podcast. Oh, very cool. Like, subscribe, and share. And our guest, our, our podcast for this week, everybody, just while I'm just doing this, C's for Greatness, what's going on? Um, our podcast is Norm. Norm, get on, J-G, N-O-N. So if you guys saw the pod, uh, the conversation that Misty and I had with, uh, with uh, Norm, N-O-N, I feel like I'm right on a chalkboard. I can't remember. Boom. All right, cool. So that, that, and that. To join me, let's talk about what they're up to. Hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. Caught me in the middle of my workout this morning. Nice. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, so that's Perfect. good. Uh, well, great to meet you. I know I've seen you in the chat, but I just couldn't remember what. All what the time. Doing. All yeah. the time. All the time. Out of the um, out of all of the people that I always make sure that I keep seeing all the time, you're always coming up. Oh, well, I'm like, dang, it's not the right time. Dang, it's not the right time. Dang, it's not the right time. <laughs> but right now is the right time. It's the... <laughs> It is the time, right? So it is the time. Yes. Nice. So, uh, sorry. What's your name? It's because you see everyone's handles, but I don't actually get to catch their, their actual name. So. Well, my actual name is Benetria Moonra Love. As of February, we added love because we just got married. <laughs> okay, Benetria. Yes. Instead of perfect. There's a tree in the middle of my name. The next tree. Got it. <laughs> yes. 
And um, so imagine we were doing like a full out, like hour long conversation. I always ask people to say like their name and their business. So I'd love to hear okay. about what you do. Yeah. All right. So Hello. my name is Benetria Moon Radla, and I am a certified master trainer for Hoop Yogini. Hoop Yogini combines the hula hoop um, with my. Anyone, who, not just there. anyone, but anyone who has the the spirit to want to teach this class, you can become a certified trainer. Uh, anybody, <laughs> I think there's something going on now with Yogini. Yes, but my company is Hula Roots, and I teach Yogini okay. and to for optimal divine health. Optimal divine health. Penetria, it's it's uh it's cutting out a little bit there. Okay. Perhaps I'm in the I'm outside. Yeah. Perfect. I'm kinda outside and I will yeah. talk louder if that's better. I, it's anything... a bit of a lag. It's good now, but there's a there's a, just a bit of a lag. I can't help it. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Well, yeah, we'll just it, we'll just kind of work our way through it. It's all good. I do have a question for you. Okay. Um, did you start off as a yoga person and then go into hula, or like how did you find this marriage of of hula and yoga? All right, I'm I'm um I'm already a professional dancer. Yes, so okay. dance has been in my life. I could do any anything that is in the genre of dance, and one day. Um, I had started teaching myself yoga and I said out into the universe, this feels so good. I want to teach yoga, but I sat still to see what was around me of what yoga I wanted to teach. One day I was in the park and my grandson was hanging out with this little girl and then they stopped in front of me. We had a conversation and I'm like, Look at that lady all the way over there with all of those hula hoops. She said, oh, that's my mom. Come meet her. I mean, literally mm. grabbed me. Yes. Took me to her mom. I was in the class next week. And uh, Jocelyn Gordon, who's the creator of You Hoop Yogini, happened to actually teach that class. And the next week was, was um, teacher's training like teachers okay. training to, to become. And so I prayed for that, you know, courses can cost money that you're not expecting, you know, like all yes. oh, these yes. things cost this much, you know, mm -hmm. in the class, um, there's a, a move called inspired lips. And uh, so it's when you're spinning with your hoop and you're putting it up to the, out into the universe with your wishes, intentions, with your wishes or intentions. I yes. wished for this money to come because I wanted class next week. Yes. I got a call the next day saying we got the check from the car accident that you had. It's ready. Your check is ready. And so that's what wow. I took. I've been here ever since. I've been in this circle. I've been in this circle ever since. <laughs> yes, I have. So um, the hula hoop has really changed my life. Um, it, re it helped reinvent Amazing. myself. It helped reinvent yeah. myself. How so reinvent yourself? Um, okay. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. That's, yeah, that's I'm, 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 I'm going to I'm trying to put this in good words. Yes. <laughs> good words. Okay. Working for the man, right? <laughs> Working corporate. I don't work corporate anymore. I don't nice. work corporate anymore. I'm, I'm right in here. And I get to teach this fun class that's not work to me all over yes. wherever I go on this planet. So there's other, you know, what I can hook I up with other hoop yogini people around the world, you know, so, and, and, and believe me, this hula hoop, this thing, this thing that I make, you know, it's my livelihood now. It is my livelihood. And I could do all Amazing. kinds of things and help children to... Um, elderly people and everybody in between. Uh, there's yes. something in the hoop 
for everybody and it is a full body a full body workout it's different it's different so when people say one how old are you and two how did you get a body like that yoga and mm -hmm. a hula hoop Okay, some swimming and some bike riding, you know. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe a couple more. of boxing somewhere, you know. <laughs> right, 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 right. That's, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's the fine print. That's the fine print. That's the yeah, fine yeah, print. yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yes, it really yes. is. And it really is. And the hula hoop community with all of the other um, kind of movement type of exercise and fun things, mm -hmm. It's a beautiful community. It really is. And I've met a lot of good, good people. Quality so I don't people, have eh? a lot of people coming into my life that don't don't belong there. Yeah. I kind of put that barrier with this good feeling all around me all the time mm. to attract yeah. the best that I, I can love for myself. That. Yeah, so, seriously. Vetri, so the, there's a, a saying that just came up uh, on one of my friend's posts, and I put it up on my chat. And it said, if you look at the people in your circle and they're not inspiring you, it's not a circle, it's a cage. Oh, I like that one. At the end. Yes. Oh, it is a cage. Oh, my God. And I learned that. You know, it helped me to, to look at what I already know. You know, it helped me to look at what I already know as I meditate and mm -hmm. just be in the center of that circle and be able to look around me and see what's out there and feel what's around me. Like, oh, I don't want that and keep it mm -hmm. moving someplace else. It's, it's yes. a, a, call, a thing we call in Hoop Yogini posture of present moment awareness. Yes. So, it's, what know, an interesting. You know, so say it again, posture of... Posture of present moment awareness, where you're standing okay. in the center of your hula hoop, looking yes. on the outside instead of on the inside. Deep. Oh, yeah. It's deep. <laughs> this earth is deep. <laughs> this, this round earth is deep. So, yeah. Yes. And, okay, so... No, with all that deepness and the work you're doing and the body that you presented and all these different things, I always say whenever there's a new product or a new kind of training methodology, it's only as good as the education around the product. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right? So Nobody for you to be doing that, someone's going to look at Well, someone's going to look at that and be like, oh, I did that when I was seven. <laughs> you know, I, I don't need that as an adult. What is your pitch? How do you tell people this, like, that this is something that could be a game changer for them? Oh, I just tell people to look at me. And I'm okay. 53. There I'm 53. you go. So, you said grandchild earlier. Me. I was like, that's all I got to do. <laughs> yes. And that's what yes. they do. They say, they're like, oh my gosh, what do you do? I was like, hula hoop. <laughs> I hula hoop. Mm -hmm. And yoga. And that's about it, you know? Like, uh, let's see what we got going on here. We do moves we're, like... We're the hoopy, uh, that's crazy. And we do moves like this, and this, and Stop we do... you're feeling this, like eh? This. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it's a full body workout. <laughs> I, I, I my workout. Yes, this morning. <laughs> my so, guy, C yeah. C for Greatness, is, is here in the chat, too. And I, I'm sure I'm watching. I'm thinking, like, that has got to be harder than it looks. Well, my husband is here working out, too, right? And yeah. when I presented the whole, you know, he sees me with the hula hoop. And he actually tried it. I gave him the instructions. He got it in five minutes. And, yeah. um. He was like, oh, my God, I didn't know that this many muscles are moving in your body mm -hmm. when you're doing this. It is a definite, I could do just that move, just the, we call that the hoop yogini foundation pose. Okay. And I can uh, definitely tone up my core immediately. Like, when I need to go someplace, let me just hula hoop for 10 minutes. Yes. <laughs> let me hula hoop for 10 minutes so I can just bust out those abs. <laughs> I bust out those asses that nice dress, you know. Mm -hmm. So it really is. When people ask me, real talk, I, I, I tell them, I tell them my elevator pitch, right? Hoop your mm -hmm. guinea, 
uh, combines the hula hoop with mindfulness meditation and hatha yoga, and I'm 53. <laughs> there you go. So, and I'm 53. So, I'm 53. yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so anybody that takes care of their body, you will keep the, the gift of youth. I'm just putting that in the chat. So, um, the funny you want thing me to say is, it again? No, I just put and I'm blank. And what I'm getting at here, people, is that sense of you add your testimony. What is your story with what you're doing? Because that's the thing that hooks people, right? Like, I mean, yeah, you'll get a six pack or you'll get strong or whatever. Right. But oh. at the same time, you say, how did it change my life? How am I living right now with this in my world? And it doesn't um, even necessarily yeah. have to. Oh, yeah. Well, so that, that sort of thing, right? Like, it's, it's not well, necessarily. I, like, I tell them. Like, All right. Yes. Um, I tell people, Hoop Yogini helps you to live the life of your dreams. And then I yes. tell them how my life has changed when I, mm -hmm. when I became one with the hoop. And yes. amazing things have happened. Amazing, magical things have happened. And not that everything works for everybody. But if you're willing to look for what is right for you, this may be one Thank of the you. avenues you might want to take or might want to try out. And, and it is just so much fun that, yeah, like you just said, oh, I used to do that when I was a little kid, you know. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people now, when they say that I used to do that as a little kid, but then they're like, oh, I can't do that now. So I bring the I can attitude into my class. And... Yes. Once I kind of look, give them that left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, because that's the move that you're doing. It's not a rotation mm -hmm. because when the rotation, your butt goes up and the hoop goes down. So whether you're going yes. left, right, left, right, or front, back, front, back, which left, right, left, right is more safer than front, back, front, back uh, with mm -hmm. the move. Um, that, that you, um, and that's it. The, once I teach them that and they're able to do a few rounds, they're like, yes. Magic happens again. Magic happens again. And then yes. I think I want to try this. And then they feel it mm -hmm. different because we feel different now than we felt as a kid. You feel the muscle movement as you're actually doing it. Yes. You know, so all the things that you're massaging and it's, it, it's a no win. It's a win win. You're having fun and you're actually uh, doing something good for your life, you know, for your body, not for your life, for your body, and maybe for your life. It's not right for everybody. I'm not going to say that, yeah. but it's a great way to, um, just to, to try something new in your life. It changed my life. It just changed my life. It just gave me a different avenue to look at and gave me new friends. Yes. Gave me new friends. Yes. So I was able to um, pick the people that are going towards my goals. You know, pick the same like-minded people. Yes. You know. So that's, those are some of the things that changed in my life when I got inside of the hula hoop. I can listen to you talk about your passion and your purpose all day long, Vinetra. Ashe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love hearing people just talk from that place of passion, where they're living in that place of passion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you yes, could indeed. You hear it. <laughs> You I hear, hear it. it. You, could, you could sub out hula hoops, and you could be talking about bobby pins right now, and it will be just as enticing to hear you talk from that place. Let me tell you, you've just changed my life. <laughs> yeah, right? Yes. But that's the thing. Like, yes, I think that indeed. we need to live from that place. Like, I think we need to legit live from that place, surround ourselves with people that are in that place, improve ourselves from it's that place. It's the magic like, key. It's the magic yeah. key. With the people that you have around you, it's the yes. magic key to yeah. doing what you want to do in life. It's the magic key. And if you get rid of those people that don't make you feel good, that does the thing, if it's not sustainable, if it's not sustainable, like, mm, I think I need to decide a little bit and look for something more. Look for something more. <laughs> uh, we... This is going to sound like a real weird kind of question for this platform, but a lot of times we say that surround yourself with this person, do this, but then we never actually talk about how do you actually cut somebody off healthily. Kick up to the curb. No. <laughs> Kick up to the curb. Cut out. <laughs> how 
right. do you? How do you? For me, I stop talking. I stop calling. I stop being available. I stop being available. Don't give them your availability. Yeah, don't give them your availability. So whatever, however you have people accessing you, stop it. Let that phone ring. Go to message. <laughs> Let the phone ring. Yep. Go to message. Um, I'm doing this. You're not doing this? Okay, I'll catch you later. Mm -hmm. And eventually time will go by. And you will see that you don't need that in your life. I, I used to put, when I first came into social media, I was doing a film festival. I'm also, I have a lot of pets. And what I did was, okay, I guess I got to be on social media because I got this film festival. So in order to get the film festival, I got to get more social. So I had on my, on my cover page, I need more awake friends. Mm. <laughs> I need more awake friends. And I have way more awake friends now. And that was about 10 years ago. Okay. That question, that, that, I put that every day for everybody to see that. Every time you come to my page, mm -hmm. um, I am looking for more awake friends. Just to write it down. So now see, metaphysically and spiritually, write it down. I just need the people closer to me. Write that every day. I need more better people closer to me. Wake up, wake up and write that mantra out and say it and watch what happens. Because our words are powerful. So you are making availability for what you want because you know what you want and you're not making yourself available to the things that are serving you anymore. There you go. That's the word that are not serving you anymore. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I learned that and it takes a while to learn that it really does but when you tie it that's when you put things into action yep. hope you don't get too tired though i you know i'm maybe because i'm a firstborn uh i like to learn from other people's mistakes so ah! I, I'm... <laughs> and that's a, not your big brother right <laughs> not every... <laughs> i watch everybody else um yes seeds for greatness if you're not following him definitely follow him too because that is like you're just, oh. you're just talking his language right now. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Follow, <laughs> follow, done. done. And that's called uh, immediate action. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> immediate action. That is awesome. I think I just seen you. Okay, seed for great seed for greatness. I like seeds. I like seeds. I like a whole lot of planting seeds. It's a whole different, a whole genre of seeds. Seeds for mm -hmm. knowledge, seeds for this, seeds for food, all kinds yes. of things. So I went there. And, and <laughs> on your on your word, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, check out C for great C for greatness in a minute, but I'm following you now. <laughs> yes, do it. I, I'm sure he is just salivating at the thought <laughs> of connecting with you. I just this is talk about the thing like the things that bring me joy when we have these conversations and I connect with people like you and then make those connections with other people in the chat and then you guys go off and then you do your thing. It's like, that is, that's, that's life for me. You know what I'm saying? Like that is, that is truly life-giving and affirming for uh, me. Uh, I understand you know? you're yeah. giving the gift of giving, the gift of giving. Yep. Connecting like for sure. Good stuff. All right. I don't want to take up any more of your workout, but thank you so much. Like, All honestly, right. this has been so rich. Y'all can rich. reach I, I... me. Anyone can reach me right here on the Instagram where I do most of everything. Uh, Hula Roots. At Hula yes. Roots. Definitely. I'm going to reach out to you. I would love to do a live if we can ever, like, lock in a time to, to you know, spend some more time we talking can. to these things. I'd love to unpack this more. Okay. Yes, yeah. I'm always seeing you, and I will drop you a note later on today. Awesome. Okay. Can you put your handle in the chat one more time there just for people? Like, sure, yes, so absolutely. Just... Yeah, I could do that. Ah. Hula Roots. Hello. There she go. All right, there we go. There you go. Thank you, Vanessa. 
Y'all, you making me do these 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 millennial things. You know, I don't know how to work none of this stuff going on here. You know, I need my grandkids to help me out in this in social media. <laughs> I follow somebody in a chat. That's a, that's amazing for me. There you go. <laughs> I put my handle in too. Yeah, that's it. I'm used to just to talking. <laughs> Your people must be laughing, like, what? You should have seen what she did. Yeah. Yeah, they, they would. They would. The mommy did that, you know? Yes. Thank you so much for having me on. My pleasure. It's not the last conversation. Trust no, me. it won't. Good. I definitely, I have definitely been wanting to meet um, and to catch up to you. So I guess this is how it was done. <laughs> this is how it was done. So thank you yes. so much. My pleasure. Uh, there, this, the X in the top right corner gets you off. If I press it, then I'll, I lose the whole chat. So I Okay, <laughs> then I will do it, too. All right, everybody, enjoy your day. I will go finish my workout. Here we go. Get it. Enjoy, All right, enjoy yeah. later. Thank you. Nice. The things that happen when you don't plan every second of your day. I walked into today's core conversation with, with this planned for today. Um, and here we are. The, did I even put a title? I believe the title was uh, Make the Hard Thing Look Easy. And uh, we're just hearing Vinetria talk about that with Hulu Roots, how she has got this program going and, and the steps that she's taken, uh, just watching her move for a moment. It's like, okay, she made it look easy. And I know being in the fitness industry, the stuff that I make look easy is not easy for the person who's doing it for the first time. Uh, the stuff that we do, that's our gigs, to make it look easy and then entice people with it. And then they can appreciate the nuance of that make it look that smooth. Uh, a friend of mine has a saying which I love, which says, "That which will must be that which can be done with ease must first be done with diligence." I'll say that again. That which that which can be done with ease must first be done with diligence, and that's exactly uh, what we're talking about here. Seeing her do her thing, how she runs it, how she flows with her business. Those things must be done with diligence first before it can be done with these. So I just encourage you to keep sharpening your skills, keep honing your craft. Um, and for those of you who just watch that or just like just tuning in right now, uh, this is a core conversation is freestyle. And this is where people get a chance to just jump in, join the chat and, um, you know, come on air and just if they'd like to and talk through stuff. And Vinetra from Hula Roots just joined me and she talked about her, Hula Yogini program, how it's changed life, changed the trajectory of her life. And I just love listening to people talk from a place of passion. Like she could have been talking about like a coffee company and I would have been just excited to hear her talk from her place of excitement. Are you walking in that same level of excitement in your area of passion? Yes or no? How do you re-spark that? How do we make that pivot to something that you enjoy more? Find that joy in what you do. Give that space. That is, that's where it's at. You'll never work another day in your life. I just, legit, find that thing. Find people. Surround yourself with people. I've talked about those mentors in the past. That look up person, that lock arms person, and that help up person. That person you look up to who may even be two steps ahead of you, who has a social media following and has grown on a couple of platforms. Learn from them. The person who has a... a a uh, uh, bricks and mortar and you want to go bricks and mortar learn from them find that person who is two steps ahead of you three steps 10 steps ahead of you on the road learn from them find the person you can lock arms with and walk with shoulder to shoulder and be like okay i figured this out today what did you learn this is what i struggled today how did you do when i have you know what i mean like this is what i saw okay let me help you i just figured that out yesterday that person that you're locking arms with as you're growing your business and you're moving your area of passion you need them and the third person is that help up person, that person who is a few steps behind you that you can help them. You can look at them and be like, okay, I went through that exact same thing. This is the person I called to get me out of that situation. Give them a call. They'll help you out. You want to set that up? I got a guy for that. Let me hook you up with that person. 
we feel like that imposter syndrome sinks in, like we're not far enough ahead to help someone else. We're not smart enough. We're not strong enough. We're not talented enough. We're not a good enough mover. We don't know enough to help someone who's just coming up when the reality is that we do. It's in us. Sometimes it takes that person coming to us for us to recognize that we actually have what it takes to help that next person, but offer to help. Can I help you with that? The worst they can do is say no, but if they say yes, then you get to pull and move from that place of your passion to help someone else. Look up, lock arms, help up. Those three people in your world as you're growing your area of passion, you'll be unstoppable. Unstoppable. I see that uh, Seed for Great is a perfect example of someone I'm locking arms with. I see him doing his lives. I see him growing his business. I see his t-shirts. I see his connections. I see the people he's trying to do his work with. I see him out there with Anita and all these other individuals. And like, that's it. We are walking the same path. We're marching on the same path, right? I see others I look up to, so others that I can help up. And I think of those three it might be hard to find that person you look up to and just ask them for help, but I still personally think it's harder to offer to help someone else that you think you're not actually established enough to help. What's your thoughts on that? Of those three, what do you think would be the toughest one to connect with? And actually, you know what? We got just going to the second half of the, of the, of the hour. Uh, Stefan, if you got time, you want to jump on, you can. Um, I'm just glad that um, you're able to connect with uh, Venetria. Uh, but if you want to join me here, um, we can chop it up as well. And talk on that mentor thing. Talk about what she was just talking about a minute ago. And talk about ease and discipline. That's kind of the vibe for today. And then tomorrow we're back at it with our guests. But I just want to talk around that stuff. Let's get it. I don't know if that worked. We'll see. Yes, sir. Morning. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, I got to take my, take my, the light is shining in my glasses there. Okay. Hey, man. What's going on, man? Brother, you, you on fire. <laughs> that's, uh, that was my talk at, um, that's been in my heart for a long time. And I had the opportunity to share it at uh, Brink two years ago. That, mm -hmm. you know, that mentoring piece about the look up, lock arms, help up. And I feel like I was just like, I've lived that message for so long. And it was just like, it just came out in, in such a strong way. And I really connected with people. So I don't want those words to die, man. I really feel like that's how we're living our lives, you know? Absolutely. I agree. And, and you know, I got to tell you, you're, you are doing it, man. You, you know, I, I'm, I'm inspired by you. You, you you got people connecting to you all around the world. And I knew a little bit about the Pilates industry. I say a little bit because before then, I thought, okay, I know a few people doing this and that. And they're, you know, mm. Pilates instructors. But then watching what you're doing and the uh, folks that are coming in from around the world and you're having these core conversations, mm. I was like, wow, this thing is huge and people have all kinds of different uh backgrounds and experience to bring yes. in. and yep. uh yeah man so i i just really appreciate you uh dedicating your your life to this and you know bringing out yeah these conversations and, and inspiring people and yeah man you <laughs> you need to be you know recognized <laughs> for sure it's big thank you no man i, I appreciate that like, i like I, I appreciate that it's, it it feels good to hear that the like cuz if you look right now there are three people watching us right oh okay and <laughs> and which is and honestly i could care less if it's just you and i we could have just a, such a life giving conversation for me and i mm. feel like i think that has been the power of these conversations that whether it's someone who has a hundred people that jump in and then we have a hundred eye little eyeballs in that right corner or this three, I'm doing it for the sake of you and for the sake of me. And that resonates mm -hmm. with people. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I'm yeah. Elle's probably just jumped in. Right. So like, so that's the sort of thing. So I think that that's, 
I, I receive what you're saying. Man. I, re I, I appreciate it because that's affirming of the plan of attack to be able to come in here and just do something that's edifying for you and I and hope that it connects with somebody else instead of trying to sing and dance for the person who might show up. Those are two different yeah. things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, that was well put. And that's why it's important to find your space, find your energy, just like the, uh, the young lady with hula roots. She yes. found her, her circle. That's her yes. thing. And then everything, you know, springs from that. But all that energy she's got, man, woo! They need to put her on a Tonight Show, right? <laughs> I know, right? People will watch her. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And so, and did, you, uh, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, oh, I just, so I, yeah, go ahead. I, I was going to mention something about you. You said you so you brought up the fact there's only a few people watching, you know, and uh, how we're we're affecting each other. And to me, this is the perfect time right now. This is the perfect time because. I can see like this is a life mission for you, and so I'm kind. Of, I'm on that same path, and so for me, I'm I'm doing it as I'm building something ten years down the line. It's it's a yeah. ten year thing right now, so yeah. everybody I want to come in with, I want to come just one hundred, two hundred percent, yeah, because I'm starting a uh, a steamroll. I'm starting to push that big rock. And as mm -hmm. I get it rolling, other people are going to come around side me on top of me and help push it a little bit here and yes. there. Yes. And that's going to be the beauty of it that we can all look back and say, yeah, I remember when, you know, it was first getting out. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I go through the same thing. One or two people, you know, hit me up. But what's happening now is probably like you, they're contacting me from different places around the world, which is yes. crazy because mm -hmm. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> right. I had yep. someone from Canada the other day that wants to order three shirts. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. So I was just like, oh heck yes, this is okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you gotta play it cool though, right? You gotta be like, like just, <laughs> oh, yeah. just front like you've been here before. Like yeah, I'll get that. Medium, that large, right. besides you. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. But inside you're like, yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Gotcha. <laughs> yes. Yep. Oh, that's good, man. That is so good. Yeah, that's. I'm loving that. This. Um, who is uh, you? So last week I, I talked to Anita. So you threw down a workout with Anita. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, yeah. What's What's mm -hmm. the plan for this week? What do you guys got going on? So <laughs> we're gonna do it again. Um, mm -hmm. Most likely to be Thursday because that's the best day I think for both of us, and we're we're sharing um, workouts. So she brings her Pilates experience. I bring my background in, ath in athletics and how I warm up before I I run or do like fitness exercises. And there's several things that I do that are Pilates based. I started incorporated Pilates moves yeah. like yeah, yeah. a year ago. So yeah. I have warm ups that are. Pilates, this combination of Pilates and yoga, and, and mm -hmm. those movements actually get my muscles ready to move, you know, in different ways yeah. and stuff like that. So, it, I mean, it works. And the cool thing was this was something that Anita just kind of, I don't want to say thought up, but she wanted to do something in line with uh, what she has for herself, like some personal uh, fitness goals. Okay. And, and we were talking – like literally, man, three or four days before and she's getting ready to launch her business in a brick and mortar. And she was kind of like, oh, well, you know, I'm not sure if I'm ready, you know, because I need to still do this and do that. And I was just like, Anita, yo, you are <laughs> ready. Trust You're me. readier than ready. Yeah, you know I'm saying, you know, yeah. like I've worked out with you. You've done a, you know, work out with me and I'm using some of those things that you taught. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, as a as a woman, as you know, Asian descent, you know that's gonna be big. You're gonna attract those kind of people that may not even think about it. Yeah. And then you don't know who they're gonna attract. Right. So it's already laid out for you. Let, let's you know, go for it. You yes. got it. You right. got it. 
And so yeah. then she was like, okay, good, you know, I got this idea. Can, you know, are you open to doing blah, 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 on Thursday? That's and then we just did yeah. it, man. We just did yeah. it. We didn't think about it. We just did it. Exactly. That's it. That's, yeah, that's, that's great. That's, that's great. That's how you got to do it, man. Like, you can, we, we know more than we give ourselves credit for. And sometimes we just need to just jump out and just do it. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm really, um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed by Anita because she has, first of all, she has a wealth of experience and background in education. She's a doctor. I yeah. mean, it, that's, it takes I'm, years I'm, 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 <laughs> right, to get to that. Yeah. And I didn't even know that for, I think, maybe a good three months or so. And I just kind of yeah. like researching her. I was like, Anita, yeah. you holding back on me. Oh, my God. But I can see, you know what? She really wants people to relate to her for her passion. And I just mm -hmm. respect that her even more because she's not, you know, relying on her title. She's just relying on her, you know, her yeah. character and personality. It's yeah. beautiful, you know? Yeah, get it. Yeah. I was watching, um, going back to the audience thing for a second, I was watching uh, David Letterman has a show on Netflix called, like, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction. Yes. So yeah. there's the one uh, where where Lizzo's on it, and uh, and she's talking about when she was starting out. She was playing in Minnesota, and the there was literally one person in the crowd, mm -hmm. and the drummer was like, you know, let's just pack it in. Let's just like just like dog it through this and get out. And she's like, no, we're gonna play it like there's a thousand people in the room. We're gonna give mm -hmm. it a hundred percent every time we're on that stage because we don't know how long it's going to last. You don't know who's going to be in the room, who's going to see it, where it's going to go next. You don't know any of that stuff. So you just got to go hard every time. So on a micro scale, that's what you and I do. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, so I heard her say that. I heard her say it. I was yeah. like, I'm not like, I'm not like, it didn't, it didn't even inspire me because I'm like, yeah, that's what we do. That's that's just what we do. Yes, thank you. We we that's, that's our standard of that's our standard of of, of, of operating, right? right? Our operating procedure, yes. SOP standard that's of our SOP. Operating. Yeah, SOP. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Hey, S Martin. So yes. Hey, man, you got this thing going. You got people, you know, following you, getting up early and watching you. What do you want to do, man? Like. Where where are we where are you going with this? Uh, man, I this is going someplace. I I haven't said much about where this is going uh -huh. because it's still in the works. But I yeah. I have a, a group that is looking to syndicate it. Nice, nice. So pulling okay. off, okay. Part, we're pulling some of our our old episodes. And just like remastering them, condensing them, taking the talking points and just making it a smaller, smaller content so it could be used on other platforms. Love it, man. Yeah. Right? So, so yeah. they're they're coming in to do that. I've always dreamed, and that's why I set up in this way where I have it on YouTube. So if you go onto YouTube on the personal victory, you'll see all like four hundred and fifty episodes, and it's basically just like that's just a warehouse. You know what I'm saying? Like that's where yeah. all yeah. The episodes are there. And I think that there's so much stuff we can do with it. I think that if you were just to harvest that, remaster it, like I've done with the podcast, use it, just keep recycling that content because you know, people are dropping bombs on this show all the time. Wis yeah. Wisdom is here. <laughs> like, even like, like even like uh, Andrew Nicholson is in the chat. See so Nickel, Nickel, Nickel 44. He's, hey. uh, yeah, so he, I don't know if he's still in here or not, but he's a basketball player. He's in the state. Uh, he played in Korea. Uh, oh, pro okay. basketball. Brilliant oh, yeah, yeah. guy. Yeah. He was on when he was in Korea. So we did a late night show uh, just mm -hmm. to accommodate him. And the things that he was saying are so inspiring for the next generation of athletes. Because he's mm -hmm. like, he was, he's, he was in pre-med and he's disciplined and he's still taking time. He's done Pilates when he was playing for Orlando all these things that I'm like, man, I wish that he, I could just yeah, recycle wow. that and just send out to every single team. You know what I mean? Right, um, right. Like John Claude Nelson just, just rolled in here too. What's going on, my friend? Um, 
So, like, things like that. Like, gentlemen, you know, guys like him who are just fantastic movers and so passionate, he's out of Germany. And just to have these combinations, these conversations that we have are so rich. Mm. And I'll, I'll give you an example. Here's, here's, here's a John Claude uh, quote. <laughs> hey, John. Head right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. When we, were, when we were talking, I remember this, John Claude. When we were talking about um, Pilates and we we're talking about classical Pilates and authentic movement and the contemporary stuff, he was saying, I have records. And I like listening to music nowadays, but sometimes mm. you want to take that old LP and hear where they got the sample from. You want to hear the original record. Mm. You want to hear the original track. I think Pilates is the exact same way where, yes, I can do all these new exercises, but you go back to original, you understand the authentic, you understand the roots of the movement. Mm. That can take you further than just understanding like the newest, freshest version of that exercise. Yeah, that's important. To, I, I totally agree. Um, it's very important to understand the history of anything mm -hmm. and the original reason why because once it gets chopped down or remixed or you know yes. redone in a certain way uh, it's going to yes. lose its uh integrity yes right? that's a good point yep. yeah 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 so yeah 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 you go for hear, it man. Uh, i was gonna say like you ever see like kids and then like a song comes on the radio and then like the original song that they sample, like a Drake song comes on and then you hear like the Mary J. Blige version of the song and then they're like, hey, that's Drake's song. You're like, that's Mary J. Blige's song, man. <laughs> right, yeah. You, exactly. don't, you don't even understand <laughs> right. where it came from. Right. That's yeah. what it's like. I don't, I'm not saying one's better than the other, but just understand where it came from. Exactly, exactly. I, I agree. And when you hear the original Mary J. Blige, you're like, oh, shoot, let, yes. let me listen to the whole song. Right. And that changes, that changes the game. Yes. Okay. Then you appreciate the new stuff as well. You're like, okay, that, this is the new flavor, and it's new. Yes. But this old one, this ain't never going out of style. Right, 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 right. This right. was about. And then when you hear the new one, then you can respect the creativity of how they looped it, how they sampled it, where they got it from. Tribe Called Quest does that too, right? There's a, I should send you the link for it on YouTube where they show like Q-Tip where he got the samples of songs from. And uh -huh. when you hear the original song, you could barely even make out the original song in the new track. But when you listen hard, you recognize it. And you're like, okay, that's creativity. So then you respect right. the creativity of the new and you yeah. respect the roots and understanding the roots of the movement, music, whatever it is, some fill in the blank, right? So. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I mean, what we're doing right now is roots. Yes. I'm just like flipping it and, you know, making it relevant. Hey, it is Benita, yo, what's up? Yes. So yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of flipping what you said and using it for what we're doing. We're building roots and in, uh, inspiring people and showing them how they already have everything in them to be yes. uh, whatever they want to be. And, mm -hmm. and it goes a little deeper than that. It's, it's not even whatever. It's your purpose. Your Finding purpose. your purpose, living through that, and then the greatness will come out just like uh, the young lady with the hula roots. Uh, the, mm -hmm. Yeah, hula roots. She yeah. found her niche and yeah. hula hooping keeps her yeah. body tight, keeps her mind tight, keeps people engaged with her. Um, yeah. She's happy, you know, wants to get up mm. every day and like do this thing for people and, yeah. you know, not worry about the, the, the grind of the nine to five. Mm -hmm. She's got a whole different walk. So that purpose thing uh, is so important. And that's, I mean, that's seed for greatness. It's like, hey, you know what? We're going to do everything we can to spark whatever that thing is to get you going because we need you yes. we need yes. you to get tired because this world got so much heavy stuff going on yes. we got to you know get in and fight against the negative mm -hmm. fight against the struggles fight for what's good for what sh the way things should be done you gotta fight for it yeah we got we gotta get you guys sparked but we gotta get you guys you know seeing that you can do it yes 
right? It is possible. They got to see that. Exactly. I mean, it's one thing to want it, but then shelf it because it's not possible in your head. Oh, yeah. Once you see it, it doesn't matter uh, if you have the money, if you have no connections, you're going to find a way. And that's that to me is like so moving because how many people in this world have done great things that have come from nothing? You know, we see it all the time. Yeah. You can study history and, and just yeah. go like, hey, well, this person knew nothing in this industry. Yes. Right. But they they got, they caught on fire. They they caught a vision. Yeah. They caught, like, something about that they saw. Mm -hmm. It could be, I mean, let's start with Elon Musk. Yep. Never been trained in uh, aeronautics. Uh, you know, doesn't come from a family of scientists, you know, Um in fact, dropped out of school. How many like geniuses have we heard that dropped yeah, out of exactly. college because they were like, well, what I want to do is so yes. much bigger than just this degree thing. Mm -hmm. like Bill Gates. Yep. Right? Um, uh, uh, Ruthersburg, uh, uh, Facebook. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, all these guys, I mean, I'm sure they could have been PhDs or, you know, doctors right. and whatever, but right. Uh, right. they had a bigger bigger vision uh magic yeah. johnson magic johnson yeah. when he was done with uh, uh basketball he wanted to be a ceo in business and he knew it was going to take him some time so he had to start all over so he had all that he had the influence he had some money he wasn't rich like he is now but yeah you yeah. know he wanted to do um do something long term and yeah. change his name in the the bigger scheme legacy of work yeah yeah, legacy, legacy. That was his purpose. And, I mean, now you know he's a basketball player, but you really do see him as a CEO and yeah. a businessman. But he had to work to get to that title, right? Yes. Yep, yes. Yep, yep. There's a, I talked about this a few weeks ago when, I was, when Sue Bird was on this podcast, uh, on uh, Baron Davis' podcast, and he said to her, like, when did you know, when did you recognize that you were better than everyone, that this was coming to you easily, that this was your thing, that you're passionate about it and now everyone was doing that, you were just excelling with it. And she said, well, that see it, be it moment was dot, 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 right? And I was like, I listened to that and I fully stopped. I was talking with my son at the time and we talked about this a few weeks ago, that see it, be it mm -hmm. moment. And whether you talk about Elon Musk or, or Zuckerberg or uh, Magic Johnson, whoever it is, it can be smaller scale people. There's a moment where you see it in them and realize that you can be it as well. Yeah, keep going, brother. Keep going. Yes. So <laughs> I like it. You want to jump on that? Um, so that's, that's exactly it. So whether, whatever the scale of that is, the second that we realize that it's possible, it's possible for us to do that too. We jump on that. And I think uh, the last thing I'm going to say on that is that I see um, like David Letterman doing these My Next Guest conversations or Jerry Seinfeld doing his comedians in cars do it, having coffee. And he mm -hmm. has other comedians talking shop over cars doing their thing. I see that and I'm like, that's me with Pilates. That's me with fitness. That's me with movement. Just getting people in the room, talking shop. You're not even a Pilates person, but you're a passionate person about people actualizing their potential that at the core is what I'm about and plies is just my language. So we could talk shop and we're not mm -hmm. even in the same industry because we're on the same wavelength about the base thing. Yeah, man. I love it. Yeah. You, you, you hit the, you, you hit the point. I mean, it's okay. So yes, what you said is so valuable. I hope someone's writing this down because I'm going to have to watch this <laughs> and, and write I'll, down I'll, that. I'll make it yeah. a podcast, man. We'll, we'll throw this right up. Right back. <laughs> yeah. Right yeah, 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 for sure. Because you know what? Certain conversations, if you're listening and paying attention and you're looking and you're ready for it, could change your whole life. That's what I'm experiencing. That's why I'm, I'm here. That's why I'm, you know, the seed for greatness. Yeah. Because I've spent and I'm probably spent like 10,000 hours easily watching different um, speakers, watching different leaders, watching different uh, motivational 
speakers and where they've come from and and how they keep uh how they manage their time and their life to uh yes. you know stay where they're at and so listening to those conversations did something to me you know i got to a point where if i never hear another conversation again which i still need to but if i don't it's so much in me now that man mm -hmm. I, I don't know anything else so what we're doing is so important because you never know when someone's going to get sparked by something, right? Yes, right. And if you're sparked, you got to keep your spark going. And so the way you do it is you talk to someone else who's got their spark going. So you yes. guys keep each other lit. Yes. And, and you, you know, the, with the <laughs> with certain people, they can say a little bit and get a mm -hmm. whole lot done because they're – Yes. So that's why conversations with certain people are very, very powerful. Absolutely. You know? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, uh, we're at 57. <laughs> I, I, I got to jump off. But I do want to say this. I just want to echo something that Anita said. Um, she said here, you guys elevate the conversation. And then later she says, I see how you have grown and changed. Speaking to you, Stefan. I, I really believe that too, Stefan. Watching some of your earlier conversations, and just watching how the like the you know the, the past few conversations and even today, mm. you're leaning into who you are, and you can kind of relax into the fact that we can just have a chill conversation and still be on purpose. <laughs> yeah, and so you know I, yeah, one hundred percent, man. <laughs> yeah, so I, I love it, man. I, I, I wanted to mention too before you go. I, I know you got to roll out here. This. There's a couple of ladies that you bring on a few times a week. Yes. Um, man, those ladies, I love them. So just relay, relay the message, you know, from me to them. Tell them that yes. I don't come on all the time because just time schedule. But when I do watch you guys, mm -hmm. I love what they bring in terms of, like, their mindset, uh, their view on life, uh, yes. taking their experiences and just, like, uh, you know, being uh, transparent, you know, and how they're yes. saying things. Um, yes. But I love those two ladies, man. Um, one, I think her last name is Chang. Is it Lisa Chang? Yes. Or, yeah. Okay, yeah, Lisa. Yeah. And I follow yeah. her now, too. And then there's another yeah. lady. I can't remember her name, but, yo, you guys, all three of you guys, you guys are you doing some powerful things. So thank you. Thank I you, really man. You're, you're cut from that same cloth, my friend. <laughs> You are cut from that same cloth. So thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day, All brother. Right. All right, okay. man. Thank you so much. All right. Yes, Tammy. Authentic voice. That is it. 100%. 100. All right. We are jumping off. It's 1059. Really appreciate you. We're back tomorrow. Have some guests this week. I have to double check who they are. Legit, I need to just confirm them. But you know it's going to be good just because of you joining us. So, John claude thank you for joining us. Tammy, uh, Anita, Stefan, thank you for jumping in. To my new friend, Vinitra, who, uh, who, uh, Roots, Hula Roots, sorry, Hula Roots. Watch out for our conversation. That's going to be live coming up at some point as well. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day. Enjoy your day off if you're in Canada. Victoria Day, and we out.